Right there is a man. See him, Vanessa? Yes. Okay. That gives you some idea of the size of this large cave and the size of these stalagmites and stalactites that are over here. Oh, that's what they're called. Yeah. All right. And here there are some really great ones hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Now, they are called stalactites. And you can sort of remember that because they stick tightly to the ceiling. So oh. that's the stalactite. Those that are down here on the floor are called stalagmites. Okay. okay. Have you ever seen them in real life? Yes, I have. Yeah, where? I saw, well, I saw some in a cave in the mountains. Yeah. What they look like? Well, they were in mostly in a cone shape, mm -hmm. but some were in the pencil shape. Okay. Yeah. How big? Well, some were about the size of my arm mm -hmm. and the size of my pinky. Oh, I see. Now, the reason why they formed is that the water above the cave in the ground above the cave dissolve various minerals and when it got to the cave it, it some of the water evaporated and left the mineral behind oh. okay and that's what you are going to do when you make your own stalagmites and stalactites oh. right there is one of them what you do is you get epsom salts which you can buy in a drugstore okay. and you put a lot of it in the water in two glasses and then you put string between them like that so what's going to happen to the water that goes up the string well, I guess the string is used as a wick. As a wick, right. Okay. And the water goes through the string down mm -hmm. to the and bottom. Then, and then it'll form a drop right here and finally drop and go, drop down to the piece of wood which you put on the bottom to so it'll absorb the moisture. Okay. Now, as it begins to drop here though, some of it evaporates and leaves behind some of the Epsom salts just like in a real cave. So you're now forming what up here? A stalag, a stalag tight. tight. Right. And a stalag mite down below. Now this one has been going for about a day and I timed it. There's a drop maybe every 15 minutes or so. In a real cave, the drops may be once every two days or once every five minutes, depending entirely upon what kind of water. But usually it takes several thousand years at least to, to form a good stalag mite and stalag tight. Here's one that's been going for about two days. Oh, well that's... Yeah. So really you can see damaged. it's a lot better. In fact, what, look, there's a drop about to start. Let's watch oh, yeah. it now. See if we can see it drop. Oh, it just dropped. There it goes, yes. So that's two days, and over here is about four days. Well, that one's really building yeah. up. Yeah. And eventually, I hope I'm going to let them go and see if maybe they'll join together like they do in a real cave. So if you want to make your own stalagmites and stalactites at home, what do you do? You use Epsom, Epsom salt, salt right. and you p mix it with water, mm -hmm. and you put in two, glass, mm -hmm. two glasses, and join a string to each glass. Okay, and be sure and put it on a piece of wood or absorbent, maybe a blotter or something like that. And they'll gradually drip down here and form your own homemade stalagmites and stalactites.